Hi, Zach Thompson here at KM4VOG. Today I'm going to show you how to build what I like to call a PMM radio or a poor man's mobile radio. Let's get started. Okay, for this build you're going to need a Beofang UV5R radio, a Beofang speaker mic, a Beofang UV5R battery eliminator, a Nagoya dual band mag mount antenna with SMA connector and a suction cup phone mount for your vehicle. Okay so let's start with the mount. First off you're going to want to get one of these um, mobile um, smartphone mounts that suction cups to the windshield you insert your smartphone in this portion and and you can use your smartphone as a GPS however for this purpose we're going to be using it to mount our POM radio so what you're going to want to do is take the mount and attach it to your windshield okay the mount is done then you're going to want to take your Beofang UV 5R radio it could be any revision. This is the A revision. Um, just looks a little bit differently. And as you can see here, I have it set up kind of just like how it comes from the factory with the battery, with the stock antenna. So what you're going to want to do is, is take the stock antenna off. You just simply unscrew it. And now you take out your battery by simply pressing the tab and sliding the battery out. Okay, so now we have just the radio itself. Then what we're going to want to do is take our antenna wire that has the SMA connector on the end. Remember, this has got to be SMA female. And we'll take it, put it into the radio, attach the radio. What usually helps is whenever you stick the antenna wire down in there and spin the radio around. This makes it a little bit easier to attach the antenna wire without twisting the wire. You want to tighten down this nut as well. Okay, our antenna is connected. Now we're going to want to power it. So what we're going to want to do is we'll take our battery eliminator. What this does is this will slide in in place of the battery and then this end will plug down into the cigarette lighter port on your car. Okay, so we want to take the battery eliminator itself. Now keep in mind this is not a battery, this simply takes the place of the battery. We'll slide it in until we hear the click and that part's attached. Then we will take our 12 volt plug and plug it into our cigarette lighter port. Okay, now we we'll want to take our speaker mic, just a standard Beofang speaker mic, and we'll take the wire with the two plug configuration. We'll open the speaker mic panel right here, this little flap. We'll take the plug, plug it into the speaker mic connector. Make sure it's good and firm. And now the speaker mic's attached. Now we have all of our wires attached. The last thing left to do is to attach it to the mount. Um, this is very simple on most mounts. Um, we simply push the clip back we slide it in to the mount just like you would a smartphone allow the clip to clip around the back side and it's held in place then you take your speaker mic mount it wherever you would like um, and now you can simply turn on your radio and use it all right now i'm going to show you how to install the antenna you want to install it just like you would any other mobile dual band antenna First off, you want to take your magnetic base with the wire attached on it and find a place metallic on the car, usually the roof, and place it where you would like it. OK? 
okay? Then you'll want to take the antenna itself. It's a very thin antenna, but it works very well. So then you'll want to take it and screw it into the magnetic base. Making sure you get it in the snow without over tightening it. And then now you just run your antenna wire um, to whatever path you deem is necessary to your mobile radio. So there you have it, your very own EOM radio. Thanks for watching at 73.